Hello everyone, welcome back to my space. This is Idol Kasaditunji. But before I proceed, I'm going to have to apologize for the noise that you might hear. And that is because I am presently, as you can see in the background, I'm not at my house. I'm shooting from my mother-in-law's house. This is, I think it's just the best way to shoot this because I am actually going to be telling you some of the some of the challenges you will face as a Nigerian YouTuber. So, you know, when you're trying to start a YouTube channel, you try to watch some YouTube videos and want to learn some mistakes that people made before you proceed so you don't make the same mistakes. So I happened to watch a couple of videos before I started and then I realized that most of the challenges a lot of people were sharing were challenges that were like generic and maybe acceptable around the world but these challenges i'm going to be sharing are the challenges you're likely to face as in did you hear that chicken these challenges i'm sharing are some of the challenges you actually face as a nigerian youtuber first of all before i even um proceed i started shooting this video that was like as soon as i was in fact at the introduction i'll probably include it here at the introduction the light was interrupted hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is idol kasaditin jp so you would notice a difference in the um light setup and everything because my light i actually need light for my lights i don't know if that makes sense i need nepal light phcn light for my lights i don't have rechargeable lights exactly so that is on its own is a challenge the nepal factor starting up a youtube channel you know how people always say that consistency is key when you're starting you have to be consistent consistent trust me you will never understand what they mean until you start and see how difficult it is to be consistent it is actually very difficult to be consistent due to different factors especially if you, if it's not like you have a proper team um or you have a or you're shooting from a place where you have maybe like inverter standby gen and all those things that can you know um help your shoot continue when you know you're interrupted by power and all of that if if you don't have all of that then it might affect it might be part of the reasons why you're not consistent basically nigerians are very judgmental we are we are our own problem nigerians are very judgmental so whatever you do and say will be judged note that people will judge you people will criticize you but what is worse is when you start judging yourself and start picking yourself apart because it is very difficult just try people will judge yes you cannot control how people feel about certain things that you do or will do on your channel but you can control how you pick yourself apart so i'm basically saying nigerians judge because you're a nigerian you are also a judgmental person don't deny it yes you you judge people too yes but do not pick yourself up don't be too hard on yourself is what i'm basically saying then don't compare yourself with all those big YouTubers because some of them already had followings on different platforms, maybe Instagram or something. They already knew one or two persons. So they are not starting from zero like you. You are starting from zero with no one. It's not like you had no fan base that you think you would meet up to them. So do not even compare yourself. The hell? So the issue now is I had to open the door to use the sunlight because the window was not giving me enough sunlight so i had to open the door that's why you can hear this much noise i'm hoping for the car to pass so i can continue yes so do not compare yourself with big youtubers basically because most of them started from did not start from zero most of them already had followings you get me you get me <laughs> another thing is nigerians will be the first to pick on your accent you are a nigerian you are a youtuber in nigeria do not be ashamed to speak the way you speak English is not your mother tongue. If some people like, if, if I don't speak my language that well, or I don't speak English that well either, and I have an accent. My English cannot be American. My English cannot be British. Stop. What is that British accent? I know. Thanks for patronizing us. Hope to see you again. <laughs> so there's this lady, Catherine Manning, I watch a lot, and she said, you know, when you hit every milestone, be grateful and you know share your experience. And right now that is actually what made me decide to do this video but i decided to narrow it down to nigeria because i am from nigeria i'm shooting in nigeria and you know if you're in nigeria and you're trying to start these are some of the things that i feel like you should know i just hit over 200 subscribers it is pretty little trust me it is very it is not even very little it is minute it is that small but I feel very excited that I made it to 200 starting from zero knowing fully well that I started my channel and I did not tell anybody I just 
decided because telling people might want to you know delay you or make you think okay you cannot start until you get this and that you don't necessarily need a whole lot of things to start so i will also want you to know that you will get stuck and you'll be frustrated a couple of times there are times that in my small journey i just started i'm not even up to a year in my small journey there are days that i got stuck and i was just frustrated because the page wasn't growing the channel wasn't growing and i felt like there was nothing more i could do but the thing is when you are in that space allow yourself feel it but just remember that it will get better just pick yourself back up and then do more of what you were doing and you definitely notice a change you cannot this bike thing is getting too much far i just i'm just almost fed up so one thing i also noticed is try not to watch one youtuber too much because once you stick to one youtuber let's say you like their content and it's something like that you want to do if you start to watch that youtuber for so long you end up trying to you end up shooting like the youtuber and losing your identity i don't know if that makes sense because you end up doing virtually everything the person is doing in your own videos and it doesn't make you unique it doesn't make you stand out so if people want to see something a content that you and that youtuber youtuber creates obviously because the youtuber is bigger than you youtube will probably um refer them no youtube will probably suggest their videos before you so you end up being at the bottom bottom of the list do not let anyone pressure you take it step by step you cannot achieve everything in one day i tell myself this too i keep telling myself you cannot achieve everything in one day take it step by step a day by day do what you can do you know just set your eyes on the go and you'll get there don't allow anyone no pressure you into feeling like oh you're not doing well enough you're not because once you start youtube you realize once you start your youtube channel you realize that it is a is a huge community and then you start to feel like it you start to realize that it is actually bigger than you thought it was even for me i felt like oh i'll just start my youtube channel i'll put up stuff and all of that but the more i get into it i realize that it is a community of its own and it is large you start to realize that there is more to it but do not get pressured or sucked in so some of us youtubers did not start i just called myself a youtuber <laughs> i've never said that i'm a youtuber well so some of us youtubers actually um did not work in front of camera like we're not presenters we're not um, anything journalists or whatever so we never really worked in front of a camera before now so sometimes shooting in front of a camera makes you uncomfortable it takes time to get comfortable in front of the camera i don't even get comfortable a hundred percent in front of the camera yet because it was never really my thing i just started it but i'm learning to get comfortable in front of the camera and what you see is edited clips of a full shoot some people shoot for hours before they get even one episode so this video has been dragging for too long and it seems like it's all negative but it isn't it is just the downside for me the fun part of this whole thing would be like i'm usually my happiest when i just publish you know when you just i upload my videos and i make them private but when i make them public i'm like wow i think the weather is changing on me it is public so everybody can see so like that's like when i'm the happiest and then when i get comments from friends and family people that know me personally makes me really happy then people that do not know me at all when they comment i'm like random person just commented on my page no it makes me really happy so you guys keep the comment coming and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel ignore the sound ignore it please do not forget to subscribe to my channel tell your friends to subscribe share turn on your notification bell so that when i post you'll be the first to see you'll not necessarily be the first to see but when i post you get notified and the chicken is still making that stupid sound at this time anyway thanks for watching i know it's been a noisy video i hope you were able to hear me yes because i was slightly distracted with the sound as well going back to my house tomorrow no today um i came to spend time with my mother-in-law got to see her happy about that yeah so uh see you guys on my next one bye if that makes sense to affect the genuinity genuineness genuine the originality it will affect the originality of your videos hello everyone this is idokas adetunji it seems like i don't know what my name is ah. hey guys welcome to another episode i'm waiting for the fan to stop so that i can proceed